so it's lovely to see you all. Um, I'm completed my uh, diploma in tropical nursing in 2005, and I'm here uh, to represent not only that group, obviously, but also the final third, and particularly the disengaged back row at the back of any lecture theatre. You see, I was not one of these diligent note-taking people at the front. Uh, my diploma in tropical nursing started, sat at the back, uh, not asking questions, uh, slightly unsure as to what was going on, possibly not paying as much attention as I should have done and probably thinking about something else. Um, I think most of us would agree that postgraduate nurse education in the UK is a fairly mixed bag. Perhaps I'm even being a bit generous there. I can't imagine many of us stood here um, not wanting to necessarily talk about a mentorship in practice course that we did last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of you have done it. Sorry. Anyway. Um, let alone start talking about a course that we did a decade ago. But the thing is, when you talk to people about this course, all you ever get is positives. Um, so my nursing journey took me, as, as described, to South Sudan, um, where those How to Dig a Pit Latrine lectures came in incredibly useful. Although how one digs a pit latrine in that, I have no idea. But anyway, that was probably something I wasn't paying attention to. Um, <laughs> Uh, the other thing was the midwifery stuff, which I had entirely ignored at university, and, uh, and then suddenly became very prescient when it came to South Sudan and there was no midwife for 400 miles in any direction. Um, so that was, that, was, that was very important. The other thing that, that came out um, was, uh, th this had been released during my diploma in tropical nursing, was the latent inner geek within me. And during the lab sessions, uh, this latent inner geek erupted from wherever it had been. And uh, I found myself spending a lot of time in the lab in Sudan, telling people to look for headphones in the Falciper malaria. And only on about day five <laughs> did it become apparent that not only was malaria possibly a bit of a mystery, but so were headphones. Um, and so we then had to do some drawing, which, was, which, which, which helped. I then moved on uh, and spent time in Uganda and uh, Vietnam and Zambia, as, as, as has been said already. And the skills learned there gave me the ability to um, ask sensible questions every now and again, and particularly to think about care in a, in a system and in a, in a, in a health economy. Um, you see the very best and the very worst of healthcare in uh, many of the places where we go. You see incredible nursing students who are driven and are working incredibly hard uh, in systems and structures that are far from ideal. Um, but I'm a paediatric nurse by background, and so what's always interested me is the child-friendly environment. And it has to be said that that is sometimes not without its challenges. Um, that's perhaps the best example of someone trying to create a child-friendly environment in, uh, in Uganda. I'm not quite sure what they were aiming for there. Um, whatever it was, I don't think they quite hit it. But anyway, there we go. Um, so um, I had... Um, long laboured under the misapprehension that the, uh, the problem with low resource settings was the lack of resources that I could see, uh, lack of medical equipment, lack of stuff, effectively. And what this course taught me more than anything else was that actually the most important element of any healthcare system is its people. In a very strange cycle of life, about a couple of years ago, I came back to the UK and began work at the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health um, and found myself running these very large health programs that required lots of nurses to come out and volunteer with us and work in paediatric settings, uh, supporting district hospitals across Myanmar and Cambodia. So I needed a lot of nurses quite quickly. And uh, of course, there was only one place to come. So now I'm in this very privileged position of being able to see all these recent graduates from the Diploma in Tropical Nursing who've now uh, come to work with us. And it is very clear that they have the same ethos, the same drive and the same vision. I think that we had, although in most cases, they're vastly more competent than I ever was. Um, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's been a real privilege to meet them and see that uh, all of that has, has come from their diploma in tropical nursing. It's very clear that it's been, uh, it's been fostered here. Uh, very early on in my diploma in tropical nursing, I remember Claire talking to us about the importance of doing a master's. And, and we all nodded sagely, although you wouldn't have seen me, Claire, because as you know, I was at the back. Um, but um, I, in my head, I was thinking, not a chance, no way. I am never going to do a master's. No hope in hell. Uh, I subsequently did come back and, and do a master's, um, largely due to the significant verbal kick that Claire had delivered, and also, of course, the school and its course more in general. But much more important, and this is the most important thing, really, um, that this course has given many of us the confidence to think about uh, the things that we know and understand our relevance to global health in, uh, in its entirety and humanity in, in general. Uh, nobody 
uh, can speak for nurses apart from nurses. There is no one who is just a nurse. I spend quite a lot of my time now sat at the back, not of lecture theatres, but of large conference rooms and global health meetings. It is still staggering how little nursing is considered and how much it is seen as a bit of an afterthought. Some people describe their clinical specialties as the forgotten child of global health. It is sometimes difficult not to draw the conclusion that nursing is the forgotten child's imaginary friend. The, <laughs> the WHO, as we've heard, estimates that uh, nurses deliver an enormous amount of healthcare, professional healthcare globally. To listen to some of our friends in global health, it would seem that nurses are an optional extra rather than the engine room and the driving force behind every health system in the world. Slowly, very, very slowly, the world is waking up to the importance of an educated and strong nursing workforce as being a crucial element in improving child health outcomes beyond a privileged few to the many. And to say that this school in general, and Claire, our sister in charge in particular, were ahead of the curve is to vastly underplay their importance and vision. The impact on this course has been very important in my life. It has uh, taken me to places that I never thought I'd be. Um, and it's, I'm in this tremendously privileged position of being able to see the importance that it's played in lots of other people's lives as well. The effects on patient care, the lives saved and changed are completely incalculable. But it is no exaggeration to say that every corner of the world and every possible health setting has benefited from the knowledge and skills that people learnt when they were here. Thanks very much indeed. I'm off up the back. Yeah.